everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. Now today I have a plan. It's a bit risky but if we pull this off it'll pay very well. You see in the last episode I upgraded my hangar to a huge one at the airport and I asked you guys to leave some comments about what you think I should do with it and boy were they a lot of comments. But I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Now also in the last episode I put most of my money in my bank as you can see but I actually need to take it back out again because I'm making a deal for some less than legal equipment today. Oh I also finally listened to you guys and put a gate on my mansion. It's really not the best, but this space is super hard to fill. So first things first, we need to take this money out. Now, the nearest ATM is literally just the Ferndale Bank, so we're going to head there. And there we go, just a 30 second drive into Ferndale. Now, this is the bank right here. Oh, this car. Oh. 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 Oh, they're doing a bank heist. Oh, dear. What do I do? What do I do? Um... They're literally robbing the bank right here. I'm just gonna get out of here. That was an explosion. My car. Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't know what exactly just happened. Um, I guess that bank is out of action. Okay, I think we're good now. I need to find another way to get money out then. So while I look for another ATM, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. Because you never know who could be spying on you, watching your every move, and even gaining access to your private information. But that can all be solved with ExpressVPN. You see, sending data over an unprotected network is a bit like sending a postcard without an envelope. The mailman can see it, your nosy neighbor can see it, anyone can see it. But a VPN encrypts that data, or in other words, puts it in an envelope so nobody can take a peek. This means your info is protected from hackers, and your data is protected from companies who want to sell it. That includes your own ISP. One of the big things I use ExpressVPN for is to access content from different countries. So chances are you use things like Netflix or Disney Plus. Well, it turns out these services have different shows and movies depending on what country you're watching from. So you're paying for the whole service, but only getting access to a fraction of the content. For example, I can't watch shows like Vikings in the UK, but with ExpressVPN, I can just change my location and boom, there it is. So try ExpressVPN today and get your first three months completely free by using the link in the description. So I'm going to use this ATM here at the gas station in the middle of the city, which I guess could be kind of risky, but I think we'll be fine. 1.5 mil should do this. Okay, I'm just walking around the city with 1.5 million on me right now. If anyone tries to rob me, this is going to be their biggest payday ever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Are those... Are those vipers? Hold on. What are they doing around here? Okay, you know what? I don't even want to stick around to find out. I'm just going to get in my car with all this money and go meet the people that I need to meet. So the guys that I'm meeting with are a group that owns a warehouse in the industrial area and they seem to be doing pretty well for themselves, but they are selling a ton of equipment to me today. And yeah, here they are. Hey boys, how's it going? Hey there, Nilux. Are we ready to do the deal? Yes, sir, we are. Nice, nice. Follow me. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, this is a lot more than I thought. I mean, you're getting what you paid for for it, so I mean... This is a lot of equipment. How come you're selling all this? Like, I'd have thought a group like you would want to would want to keep it around. Well, we're moving our focus to uh, gun manufacturing and heist, so kind of don't oh. need all this anymore. Yeah, I guess it is quite a high risk. What what was the agreed price? Was it 1.5 mil? Yeah, it is 1.5 mil. Cool, I can drop that now if you've got the space for it. Uh, Yeah, I do have the space for it. Cool, 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 cool. The problem is, this is a ton of equipment, and I uh, do not have the space for all this. We can possibly help you transport it. That would be a great help. We have help. a big truck downstairs. Yeah, sure. Uh, should, we, should we load it up? Yep. Let's, Let's get it. started. Cool, cool, cool. We're all loaded up for you. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. The problem is, there's police checkpoints in every direction we need to go, so... Uh, don't worry, we have a way around it. Okay, let's do this. Alright, let's do the drill that we've done many times before, come on. Everyone back into the trucks. Okay. I'm excited to yes. to see this. Do it. Wait, the river? The river? Yeah. This is what? Oh. <laughs> no way! No way! Totally you guys are geniuses. You guys are actual geniuses. And just like that, we're on the other side. It's the only way that's passed, so we don't have to go through the checkpoint. Why have I never thought of that before? I told you that we'd make it here, Nilex. You did, my friend. You did. I never doubted you. Don't worry. You might be a little soggy. It's this one dead in front of you, the second one. 
This is the one, boys. This is the one. Uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll be fine. All right. Um, I guess, yeah, we just got to unload now. Okay, I think that's the last of it, yeah? Yeah, I believe so. Well, thank you so much for the help, boys. I could not have gotten this here without you guys, so I appreciate it. Uh, I'd also like to compliment your hanger. Oh, do you like it? Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's a pleasure doing business. Have a good day. You too, my man. Okay, well, I think you can already see what my plan's going to be. I need to take all this up to this room up here because this is going to be like the cooking station. We've got snow, we've got crystal, and with all that equipment, we're going to make so much money so fast. Now, I did make some little changes to this area up here. So for the windows, I actually put a door in here so I can look out if I want to. I realized a door fits absolutely perfectly here and it gives me some privacy. And then up here, this is actually one-way glass. So let me get onto the roof to show you. Okay, so as you can see, this is completely blocked up. You cannot see into it from up here, which means everything in this room is completely sealed off from the outside world. Okay, I've built all the cooking stations and it's looking pretty busy in here. So now we have a money printer farm back at the mansion and a lab here at the hangar. This is gonna make us so much money. The only problem is I have no supplies to make any of this stuff with. Now I can get a lot of it easily, but the things I need most are berries. Now I could forage berries for hours, but then I'd have to spend so long growing them and replanting them just to get a decent farm going. And of course, nobody wants to sell me their berries because they're all using them for their own activities. So unless I vastly overpay for a berry farm, nobody's gonna sell them to me. But you know me, boys, I've got a plan. You see, apparently Alistair knows where there's a secret berry farm and it's owned by a decently sized group. So I've offered him a 50-50 split on the loot if he takes me there. So I'm heading out now to meet with him and the mafia to go over a plan. Well, it's been a while since I've been to the office, but I've got the Mafia here waiting to get this mission done. Alrighty, boys. How's it going? Are we ready to do this? Ready as you are. What's the plan? So I was thinking the plan is pretty simple. We split up into two teams. Now, you've got to spend money to make money, right? So we're going to organize a deal with these guys. And it's going to be totally legit, too. We don't want to raise any suspicion here. So I'm going to give Team 1 half a million dollars here, okay? Now, all you've got to do is rent a room at the hotel and make a deal with the guys that are on the farm. And with an amount like this, they are bound to bring a ton of their men to ensure the deal goes smoothly, which means their farm should hopefully be left pretty unattended. And that's what we strike, is it? So exactly. So all we have to do is wait for them to arrive at the hotel and then make a beeline for their farm, which of course will be led by Alistair. So is everyone locked and loaded? Yes, yes. Sir. I would say that I am. Right then, let's do this thing. Alistair, what time did you say they'd be here? You said noon, right? Yeah, it should be around noon. Well, they are running very late. Well. Because I'm seeing nothing down here. Don't know what to say. They should be coming. Uh, yeah, you see, the problem is I don't know what car they're actually driving, so I'm not too sure. Um, oh, there's a beefy looking convoy just pulled into the city. Can you confirm if they're pulling up at the hotel? Yeah, they're pulling up, all right. Right, cool. Okay, we should do this now then. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully that deal goes well and they can stall them for long enough. All right, boys, let's do this. Do you know how much time we have, roughly? Like, are they in and out, or do you reckon we have quite a bit? Well, I would like to say we do need to be quick. Okay, I think we got this. Okay, are we stopping here? I've got to say, that rifle really compliments your new suit. Thank you. Good, uh, good friend of mine, his name's Charlie. Really good with that sort of stuff. Okay, well, you're gonna have to lead the way, because I think you're the only person that knows where this farm is. All right, here we go. All right, looks so Murphy goes with. And off we go. This is really, really in the middle of nowhere, dude. Relax, it's not too bad. It's good ground. Good for berries, that is. Yeah, it looks it, man. It looks it. Sir. Oh, are we... Is this it? Uh, I don't see no farm, Alistair. You know, just... Journey. The journey? What do they, what do they say? That's something about that's not about the destination. I guess it's a good spot for a berry farm though. I mean, no one's gonna disturb you out here. Well, I mean, that's not entirely true. We are just about to disturb them. <laughs> that is very true. Oh. Eventually. I... Hold on, I, I see something up at... Is that it? Is it, is it two, two warehouses? Yeah, that, that's it. Okay, uh, we should proceed with a bit of caution, boys. Slow and steady wins the race. Exactly, exactly. Now, because all those guys are back at the city, there shouldn't be a lot of people there, if any. Let's just stick to the bushes, eh? See what we can see. Hold on. 
we have people. I'm only looking at, I think, three. However, I don't know if there's any more inside. So do you want to see if we can get a bit closer? It's nothing but open field from us to them. If I'd have known we were doing this, I'd have brought the ghillie suits. Yeah, we could maybe go all the way around, actually. If we hide among these bushes, we could probably get to the back of it, right? <sighs> boys, 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 boys. Do I see that right? One guy by that fence? Do you see any more? Just him. I think it's just him. <sighs> nice shot. Let's be very, very careful now. Looks like a, another entrance, but... Oh, maybe this is what he was guarding. Shall we? Well, he did a poor job of it. <laughs> he did. I don't think he was quite expecting this, though. I'm going to switch to the walkie now. I don't know if we're in range. Dude, come on, you can't hit your shots. We are definitely in range. Okay, yeah, just like before, three guys out there. We got one guy by the car over there. Did they notice? Nah. So. Dude, do you see that big LMG they've got? <laughs> Should we take out these guys down here and then deal with the rest? I'll take the turret. You take it. Roger that. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Ah, we're going live. He's down, he's down, he's down. So much for quiet. Tell me about it. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Any more inside? Should be. I just saw movement. I just saw movement. Yep, up ahead. Oh, I need to reload. <gasps> Alistair! <laughs> Did you just knife him? Uh, no, I just uh, tickled him. Are we clear? Are we clear? We good? I think so. Everyone's down. Okay. They have a ton of berries in here. Just all boxed up. Well, then grab what you can. Oh, dude, I'm running out of space already. I'm, I'm going to need a big old hand. I mean, we could take the truck. Ooh, to be fair, that might be a good idea. We'll load the truck up with berries. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I guess just get as much as you can and get it loaded up and we'll get out of here. Because I don't know how much time we've actually got. Ooh. Oh, we lost one, we lost one. They're in the hills, they're in the hills. And I'm hit, and I'm hit. I can't see with this sun glaring in my eyes. What was that? Was that a rocket launcher? <laughs> the I guess these are those guys from the city then. They must have come back. Should we just take this opportunity and go? It seems like there's not many of them left. Yeah, I think that'd be for the best. Let's do it. We all in, roll in. Ooh. Here we go. Oof. Okay. Oh, they're shooting at us. Ooh. Boys, ditch, 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 ditch. Ooh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We have to fight, we have to fight. Alistair, we might need an evac out of here. Don't you worry. Get over here. Now. Dude, they're so close. They're so close. Alright, let's hold them down as much as we can. Boys, I don't have much ammo. Oh, the chopper's here, the chopper's here! Here we go, boys, here we go! Okay, let's go, let's go! And there we go, there we go! <laughs> Coming in hot. Easy. Oof. Not gonna lie, I've seen better landings. <laughs> welcome, welcome, boys. Since when do you have a jet? Oh man, I yeah, I kind of splashed the cash. 
recently. Okay, uh, do you want to just do a 50-50 split for the berries and call it a day then? Well, we didn't exactly get all of it now, did we? We didn't, we didn't, but I mean, there's still enough to go about. And to be fair, I still see that as a success, so. All right then, boys, thank you so much once again. It's been a pleasure. Anytime, anytime. So since we lost a good few berries back there, I don't have as much as I would hope. So I'm going to have to turn half of these into seeds to plant and then keep half for cooking. Okay, they're all planted, but honestly, I think it might be best if I just go out and get some fertilizer just to speed up this process. Okay, I literally have a full truck of fertilizer. I think we should have a hefty farm going on in no time. Oh man, these checkpoints are so active. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing I've just got fertilizer yeah, here. Hello, Yo, good man. Sir, do you mind out of the yes, sir, no problem. Do you have license? I do, I do. There you go. Okay. Do you mind me searching your truck? No, you go ahead, my man, go ahead. Oh, that's a lot of fertilizer. It is, it is. So, what you gonna do with it? Uh, do you I've, mind I, asking? No, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I run uh, a little pub down in Montre, so I need to fertilize all my crops to grow all the food and stuff, so I do need quite a lot. Uh, Okay, sounds good. You can pass. Alright, man. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too, man. You see, if I'd have been traveling with all that stuff from the hangar across this border, that'd be a hefty jail sentence. Okay, this is going to take a while to fertilize, but is this you, my friend? Uh, I don't know which hangar is you. I'm this one here. Well. Oh, nice oh. bike, dude. What? When did you get that? <laughs> Oh, this, oh, well, this is a classic I've had for many, many, many um, hours. You could literally just pull it through this doorway, you know? <laughs> I know, it's amazing. And it's so cheap. Ooh, nice plane. Thank you, my man. I recently got this as well. Look at us splashing the cash. So I thought, you know, if wow. I'm doing some cooking today, what's a chef mm -hmm. without his sous chef, eh? Yeah, we've got uh, quite a lot wow. going on today, my friend. Uh, let's see. Never a dull day in the Nylex Enterprise. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, we've been busy. Little Dinkley Garage, we only had two. Tang, okay. I think you know what time it is. Okay, welcome to a new and improved cooking with Nylix and Justin. Now, we've got quite a lot of things to cook up today, Justin. We have snow powder and we have blue crystal. I think first things first, we should make all the raw ingredients that we need and then we can worry about actually crafting everything. Well, I've been a busy bee today and I've got my hands on quite a lot of berries. So if we take them and then combine them with some chemicals that I have in here, we can craft all the ingredients that we need to get cooking some crystal. There we go. I'll place it on here for now, I guess. Okay, this should be enough to work <laughs> with, don't you think? Okay, so uh, all we need to do is just place one of each into the barrel, like mm -hmm. so. And then you remember the drill. All we need to do is mix it up a little. Yep. And it gives us a beautiful liquid tray. Now, with this tray, stick this in here to freeze. It should. Mm -mm. And then we just punch it. And boom, there are our bags. Look at that. Okay, so the plan I'm thinking, Justin, is if I put all the stuff in the barrel at the same time as mm -hmm. you punch the barrel, we will create like an infinite loop. We will just produce so many trays so fast. <laughs> oh, of course, let's go. All right, Ready? let's get punching. Is it working? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there's one. I think there's another one. I think they're just stacking on top of each other. Yep, there was another. <laughs> there's another. There's another, okay. There's another. There's another. And another. Okay, I think that's it, right? How many did we make? <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty successful. Should we uh, should we get all these here to freeze? Here we go. <laughs> and they're doing it already. Would you look at that? There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Look at that. Okay, I think we're making right. pretty good progress. I don't even know how many this is. I've lost count. I'm going to need some more berries in order to uh, make more ingredients for this. So I need to mm. wait for them to grow down there. In the meantime, do you want to have a go at cooking this snow? I think what we should mm. do for this, Justin, is we'll have two mm -hmm. stoves each. How about that? I'll take this one and this one. And you take those two over there. Now, all you need to do is super simple. Just place the leaf in the pan. Th that sounds really hot here <laughs> sure now i don't know the exact temperature but i like to keep it at around 100 degrees so if we can balance like both of these and try and make them 100 degrees each that would be great mm -hmm. all right let's see if we can do this okay so that's that one on and that one on i hope this is <laughs> we can balance this right that's 100 
You can let it go a little over and I'll leave that to cool there. That's a hundred. Turn it off. Okay, I think we're doing I think we're doing a bit of a decent balancing act, right? Are you doing it? You've got to do it too, dude. Oh man, oh, no. No. Hold on. No. No, 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 no. Oh no. I okay. It's really hard to balance two at once. I thought we could do this, you know, but um I guess. Oh, watch not. me. Okay, you think you can do it? it? Go on then, let's do it. Yeah. I've just got ash in the pants. Okay, okay. Oh. Mm, I go back on. Wow, you yeah, know what, Justin? You're a natural at this. <gasps> you did it! You actually did it! What? You've done it b twice! Look at that! And then, yeah, we just place them under these drying racks right here, the drying mm. station, and they should dry. Yep, all dry. Okay, and now, boom! There's our bags. What? Whoa! Okay, yeah, look easy. at this! Now, I think to man all these stations, we might need to hire some staff. I think the same can be said for the crystal stations we, we as well. We might? You, you think maybe? <laughs> maybe. I couldn't yeah. even balance two, and I think you just managed. So, um, all right, Justin, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to leave that one to heat up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's that. And then we do off. And then we do off. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. He did it instantly. Okay. Okay. I guess, <laughs> have I cheated the system somehow? <laughs> Well, I got there in the end. I think right. we got a bit carried away, Justin. Well, you tell me, right? I mean... I have lost count. I don't know how many bags we've made, but we have crates of 100 here. Okay, I think the only thing left to do is to sell these things. But the problem is, you can only sell crystal at the city, right? And we can't get to the city without crossing a checkpoint. So I don't really know exactly how we're going to get this across. Now, I did have a bit of an idea. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about being a pilot? All right, so the plan is pretty simple. Instead of driving to Calabasas, we're going to fly over the top of it. You're going to be in the pilot seat. I'm going to mm -hmm. drop out above Calabasas with this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is I can only fit three of these pallets in my inventory and there's a mm -hmm. lot to go through. So we might have to do a bit of rinse and repeat in. I guess mm -hmm. it's worth it if we're going to completely avoid the cops, right? Oh, no doubt. I mean, I would love to have a fly with this thing. So well, let's she's load all up. yours. I'll let's, open the uh... gate. I'll move your bike and we'll do it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. You might want to back it up right to the back of the runway. Let's, let's get moving. Do this thing. Right, ready? I'm ready, my friend. All right, full power. Here let's we go. go. Ooh, here and go, here go. look at that, beautiful. It's quite nice being in the passenger of this for once. This thing is nice. I'm glad you like it, my friend. I'm glad you like it. I very much like it. Let's get you aligned up over Calabasas. Let's do it. You see that down there? The checkpoint? Little do they know we're crossing oh, yeah. it right now. <laughs> All right, my friend. I think this might be it. Three, right. two, one. See you later. Bye. There he goes. Okay. If anyone looks up right now, they're going to see a very odd sight, Justin. <laughs> okay. Coming into land right now. Hopefully no one sees me. There's people everywhere. The city is very, very busy tonight. There's a cop as well. Ooh. Okay, I made it. There's someone being arrested right in front of me. Just, I'm going to get out of here really, really fast. Okay, so the place to sell this stuff is actually the wood fried pizza. It seems the owner of the pizza shop is pretty corrupt. Okay, I made it to the pizza shop. And there's no one here. This is good. This is good. Okay, this is the guy. Okay, I'm selling him now, my friend. I'm selling him now. Okay. They are all sold, Justin. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we just need to rinse and repeat that a good few more times. <laughs> all right, Justin. Well, we made quite a lot of money today. This is $3 million alone just on this table. Half of it is all yours, my friend. Wow. Uh, I I can now buy half a jet. I mean, it, it's pretty good for a day's work, right? Okay, well, as soon as we're ready to cook up the next batch, I will be in touch. Oh, yes, sir. We will be. All right. I'm going to try and lob a one and a half million dollars on a tiny bike. <laughs> yeah, be good luck. Good luck. I'm sure it'll be fine. A good day of business, eh? Oh, big time. All right. I will chat to you later. See you later, my man. Well, that was super, super profitable. We made over $3 million in such a short amount of time. And plus, once we get workers to man all these stations, we're going to be making even more profits. But I think I'm going to have to end the episode here. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And most importantly, get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.